Hi everybody, welcome back. Today for you, I have review, demo, swatches of the Kathleen Lights collaboration with ColourPop and the Zodiac Collection. So last year, I think it was pretty much mermaids and unicorns, which I think it's always a little bit of mermaids and unicorns no matter where you go. But tail end of this summer, it has been nothing but Zodiac. The Zodiac has sprung up everywhere. Bite Beauty and the Zodiac Lipstick Collection. And now it is just spilled everywhere. Uh, Wet n Wild has their Zodiac Collection. Kathleen Lights with ColourPop. I saw Revlon has a whole bunch of Zodiac lipsticks out. So apparently this year the theme is Zodiac. So the collection, the entire collection, which I have here in front of me, disclaimer, I did not purchase this. This is not mine. This is my daughter's. So far, I've enjoyed all of the Kathleen Lights collaborations that she's done with them. I think she has done a wonderful job. First, let me tell you everything that's included in this collection. So with this collection, you're going to get the Zodiac palette. This is going to contain 12 of the ColourPop pressed pigments. All here, lovely details they did this time. Added a big butt mirror up here for you, as well as printed the names of the shadows underneath of each shadow. Also to the collection are two of the Supernova shadows. These are a cream shadow formula, comes out with a doe foot like that. You're also getting two of the ColourPop Super Shock highlights and two ColourPop Luxe Lippies as well. So let's get in to swatches. Watches. Let's go ahead now and roll into the demo for the eye look I am wearing right now. So right out of the gate, this palette is missing that one little thing that I love, which is kind of like that all over color to put on my lids to set my eyeshadow primer. I just went ahead and used some of my translucent powder to do that. So we're just going to dive on in. So the first shade I'm going to dive into here is the Taurus. This is going to be our main crease color. So I'm just going to take that here on my crease brush and put that in the crease. So now I'm going to deepen things up a little bit. I'm going to go into the shade here, the Virgo, which is this deep, cool-toned matte brown. I'm going to take my blending brush, go back over, just kind of blend those two shadows together. Now I'm going to go into the shade here, the Libra. This one's kind of um, like a very light, dusty rose type shade. I'm going to take this just above the perimeter, kind of in this transition -y area. Help soften that, all that up. And I'm going to go back into that Virgo shade, this time with a more of a shading brush. And I'm going to kind of pack that on that outer corner. And then I'm going to blend it. Now, let's have some fun. Now, we know that when... We looked at this palette, what did we see? We knew I was gonna use that, and I have used this before. I highly recommend with this one, you use something like a glitter glue to help keep the shadow where you want it to be. Also, you're gonna have to wanna be a little careful. You're probably gonna get some fallout with it because again, like I said, this is almost kind of like a pressed glitter texture. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of NYX glitter glue to help the shadow stick. I'm just gonna take a flat shader brush here just so I can place the glue where I want it and only where I want it. I also recommend finger application with this one because again, it, it doesn't like to stick to brush fibers whatsoever. So now I'm gonna work the bottom lash line. 
taking my precision, what are you? I always forget what it's called. Flat definer, flat definer brush here from Luxie. I'm gonna go back into Virgo, that nice cool tone matte brown that we had. Press that between the lashes. Now I'm gonna go into the shade The Taurus and pull that up on a smudger brush and further smudge that out a little. Then we're gonna go back into that shader brush and go into the Virgo again and just tap it just right there on that outer corner. Kind of use my fingertip there to kind of press it in a little bit. Then I'm gonna go back into the shade the Libra, take this on a little bit fluffier, further smudge that out a little bit more. So the eyes thus far are pretty much done. I'm gonna put on some mascara and lashes and then we'll come back up and put all the finishing touches on. So what I went ahead and did was put on my lashes and my line, uh, liner. I added just a little bit of black liner to the lower lash line, uh, just very softly. I didn't like really draw it on. I just kind of smudged you went as I went, added a little bit more of the Virgo to kind of help smudge that out, just cause I felt that was lacking a little bit. I went ahead and lined the rim though with a nude colored liner just to kind of open up the eyes a little bit so they weren't so black because I knew I was going to be wearing some pretty bold lashes with this look. So let's move on to some highlight and lips, shall we? So I'm going to take the Super Shock highlight in the shade On the Cusp, which is where I am. I am myself, I'm on the cusp of Gemini and Cancer but I'm mostly Gemini, so it's always Gemini season. Now, since this is the Super Shock formula for this, if you're unfamiliar with that, it's kind of a moussey, putty-like texture. So I don't really, I would normally use something like maybe my, my e.l.f. small tapered brush for highlight or something even a little bit wispier, but because of the texture of this, I find that a small stippling brush works the absolute best when it comes to application. So what I'm gonna do is just pounce a little bit in there. I'm also gonna tap it off on my hand just to make sure I don't have too much. And then we're just gonna kind of buff that on. Kind of like small circular motions. Did you see that happen? Yeah. <laughs> This shade is pretty darn amazing. So I am gonna take a little bit of this and highlight my tear duct as well as slightly on the brow bone. I'm gonna use another tiny little brush here. I'm just gonna pick up a very small amount. I'm actually gonna kind of use the back of my hand again for the palette on this and just kind of lightly line right there because I don't like things too shiny in my brow. Why, I don't know, it's just, it's not like it's unflattering. I just, it bothers me. I don't know. I'm a weird duck like that sometimes. And then I'm gonna do the same technique again and I'm gonna hit this tear duct. So now I'm gonna move on to the lip color. I'm going with the shade, What's Your Sign? It's pretty much just a basic nude. I think it'll complement this look really well. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Rimmel uh, Cafe Olay and just kind of feather, just gonna kind of lightly line the lips just to give it a little bit of dimension there. And so there you have it, this is our finished look. I, of course, you know, I'm a sucker for this kind of a shadow, always have been, always will be. So let me give you some information, the details, and then I'll tell you my thoughts on the collection itself. Currently, unfortunately, the collection is sold out on ColourPop. I do believe they are gonna be restocking this, but currently it is sold out. It retails for $59 and comes with all of the products that I showed you here. However, if you are only interested in a couple of pieces, then it is fairly inexpensive. The eyeshadow palette is gonna retail you for $18. The Luxe lipsticks retail for $7 each. The Supernova shadows retail for $7 each. And the Super Shock highlighters retail for $8 each. So the first thing I'm going to go over is, of course, the main attraction, which is the Zodiac palette. So with this palette, you're going to be getting five matte shades. The matte shades are going to be the Taurus, the Virgo, the Libra, the Sagittarius, and the Aquarius. You're also going to get seven shimmer shades, and those shades are going to be the Aries, the Gemini, the Cancer, the Leo, the Scorpio, and the Capricorn. Now the shade, the Pisces, this one I am considering a pressed glitter pigment. As I said in the demo, you're definitely gonna wanna use this one with a glitter glue. The shade, the Capricorn, which is down here, which is our black shade with a lot of gold glitter in it. 
This one can perform close to a mat. This is one of those that if you pick it up and you tap, 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 tap that brush off really, really good, or even blow it, which I really don't like to do that, most of the glitter comes off and you're left with pretty much a matte near black. I won't say this is a total black, but it's pretty much a near black. The Virgo, the Cool Tone Brown shade, though I really do love it. Sometimes it can be a little patchy on the blend. I was kind of let down by three shades. One is the Aquarius here. It's a matte periwinkle blue. It, you are going to get some kick up with this one quite a bit, but it just, it kind of falls flat in performance, but it just didn't perform like I really, really was kind of hoping it would. But to be fair, this is a ridiculously difficult shade to make because it's purple and blue. It's just so difficult to make. The other two that kind of let me down and disappointed me, the Aries and the Leo. Now the Leo is really, really buttery soft when you put your fingers into it. It's very creamy, like the texture of all the other shimmer shades, but it just kind of, I don't know. I think the color just kind of fell flat for me more than anything. I was really looking for more of a really, really coppery shade with that one. You know, something that made me think more of the sun. And the Aries, unfortunately, it just doesn't have a lot going to it. It's really lacking in um, some pigment. And it's just, I just thought that that would be such a good pairing with those two, you know, kind of like fiery orangish color shades. And those two kind of really let me down a little bit. As for my sign, Gemini, uh, yeah, that's why it's always Gemini season. This one is just everything I could wish and ask for. I mean, that's goge, goldy champagne goodness there. And then Cancer, the other half of my cusp. Beautiful pinkiness. The Scorpio, the Sagittarius, the Capricorn even, and the Pisces, of course, you know, I mean, that's my jam shade right there. But all in all, the shadows are really good, minus the three, like I said, the little issues they have with those. Is this worth $18? Absolutely. It's a great value for a palette like this where you've got all this variety and versatility. So enough talking about that because I know that was like the big thing in there. There's a lot to talk about, but there's a lot more else going on here. Move over to the Supernova Shadows. Now I did not demo these, but let me tell you guys about these. These are freaking amazing. These Supernova Shadows are just amazing. Oh my gosh. For one, you're getting a gorgeous, gorgeous color. The one I'm using here is Constellation, which is described as a champagne pink. And then, then this one here is Astrology. This is kind of like, I would call that a green based gold. But look at those. Are they not blinding? Are they not beautiful? And let me tell you something, guys, when these dry down, um, let's see, I don't know if they're just dry just yet. Got to give them some time to dry down. They don't move. Can I stop doing that? I can't, I can't stop doing this because I'm like looking at it in the viewfinder and I'm just like, oh, I'm one of those people who still gets distracted by shiny things. Now let's look at these super shock cheek highlights. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I'll start off with the one I'm not as over the moon with. <laughs> this here is the shade fire. Now this one for me, unfortunately, it's a little too close to my own skin tone. Now, what does stand out on me? Give me some champagne pinky goodness. This one is the shade On The Cusp, <laughs> which is where I live. That's what I'm talking about there. You see that? <laughs> and last but not least, let's talk about the lipsticks. Now, this is not in any special packaging. This is the packaging that the Lux lipsticks already come in. But it's very fitting because there's little stars all over the packaging. And then on the lipstick itself, as, you'll, as you saw in the close-ups there, it's got little stars stamped in it. So that's adorable. So the two shades that we came out for this collection was Scorpio Moon. But I found that this particular shade of this one just wasn't very flattering on me. Not enough brown. And so I really didn't enjoy this one as much, but the shade here, which is what I'm wearing now, which is what's your sign? This nudie is a really, really good nudie color for me. That's it right there. So all in all, a wrap up. What are my thoughts? What do I think? 
I think that it's a fabulous collection. I think Kathleen Lights did a wonderful job once again. I really, really enjoyed her Dream Street collection. Minus the lippies weren't necessarily my cup of tea, but everything else in that collection was. And I definitely think she really hit it with this Zodiac collection. So that's what I have for you today. My review, demo, swatches, thoughts, and everything else about the Kathleen Lights collaboration with ColourPop and the Zodiac. Once again, I of course want to thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly, truly do appreciate it. And as always, before you leave, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. You definitely don't want to miss out on any videos that I have coming up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.